Hi guys, Mary Nush here from Rasta IELTS Academy. Okay, today we want to get the answer to the question, how can I speak like a native speaker? By the time we are done with this video, you will exactly know where you should start. Before we get started, please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel as there are tons of videos here to help you with improving your English or getting your target score in IELTS speaking. Okay. Here you are willing to start learning English or you have an elementary level but you are so tired of trying to speak better and not changing and feeling weak and silly when you open your mouth. Let me tell you one thing. Breathe, free your mind of all those concerns and forget about the times that you were not understood when you spoke English. It's totally fine. It happens to anyone who is taking the first steps in learning a foreign language. I know how it feels. Okay, if you are just about to learn English, you should connect to it to feel better when you study. What I always tell people is that you should make it fun and enjoyable learning English. I was in the exact same level when I decided to learn German. As I already spoke other languages, I knew that I had to find a way to enjoy learning German. Otherwise, it would take too much energy from me, more than it should. Because if your mind realizes that something is an obligation only, like working for several hours, doing a lot of homework, studying because of an exam, then it will put up a guard and tell you, what's there for me? No fun? Then give me more energy as I don't like what you want me to do. Back to when I started learning German. I was trying to see it as a friend who is going to get me somewhere, but for the first few weeks, I had this funny picture in my mind that we are sitting at a table, German is on the other side and me on this side, looking at each other like two kids who were forced to play together, but there is no connection here. I knew that we couldn't go on like this, so I found something I enjoyed most about German. There were some songs that I started listening to, looking at the lyrics, and the best thing was that I understood two words, and it made me feel like there is a new world ahead of me. I was about to understand some incomprehensible codes that meant nothing to me before. What I'm trying to say as the first step you should take is Get an idea of English and what you enjoy the most about it and start, you should start right there. To do so, you tell me which part of it you like most. Do you like listening to music? Then do so. Are you a fan of English movies? Watch some. Do you feel good when you read a book or something in English? Then exactly read those. Okay, now we kind of have this connection with English. The next question is, do I have to self-study or I will need some help? It depends. If you have enough time, you can start learning it yourself. If you are short in time because, for example, you want to travel and you, you need some English or you want to take an exam in this language, then I recommend you to take classes. Private classes work better as it is just you and the instructor and the better you study, the faster your teacher will teach you the next parts. But in group classes, there is a syllabus, a study plan, that makes the instructor stick to that, even if one student has completely learned the first lesson and is ready for the next one. Other students are there too, right? So I recommend you to take private classes to finish starter and elementary level, and afterwards, as you have a good basic command of English, you can self-study if you want. So here is a general idea of where to start based on your level and the time that actually you've got. Okay, now you kind of like the language and you are ready to take classes or self-study if you want. Here's the third question. What should I learn first? Some of you may say, okay, let's start big. Several grammar lessons besides vocabulary and different topics every day. Whoa, 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 what is the rush? Do you only want to memorize some stuff and then put them in your passive memory? Do you know what's important when you're studying English? It's to learn and use. I know many of you say, I know a lot of words and when I watch movies or listen to native speakers, I totally get it. 
But once I start speaking, I feel terrible. As I say that, I'm just using the very simple words that I always use. You know why this is? It's because you want to use all you have learned all together once your mind is categorizing the information it has received. For example, you have recently learned that if you want to say that something has a high price, you can say, for example, the car is expensive. After you use this word expensive naturally in your sentences in English, your mind will give you permission to add a synonym to it. Now, once you say expensive, which is your safe word, the next time you can say costly. For example, the car is costly, a synonym for that. After a while, when you can use these words naturally without hesitation to think what you should say next, your mind is telling you that, okay, give me another one. Now you can start learning and using an idiom like the car costs an arm and a leg. So take your time. Learn words or grammar step by step. Let your mind let you add more to it and use whatever you have learned in your sentences. You can start small. Learn individual words like yes, good, car, house, street, these simple words just to make your point. That's about vocabulary. About grammar, start with the tenses. For example, to be verb, simple present, simple past, and other tenses. This way, you will get to use those simple words with very simple grammatical structures to make sentences in English. Here's the fifth question. What if I don't know a word? The answer is very simple. Don't get a stock. Talk. If you're in the middle of your sentence and you just forget a word, remember that those people listening to you are not in your mind. They don't know if you don't know something. Just make something up. Use a synonym or explain the word. Like for example, I'm talking to a friend. I'm saying, I was in the jungle. There were so many trees and birds and I don't remember. It, it, it was a... Instead, you can say, I was in the jungle. There were so many trees and birds and something else that you see on the trees which can be green, yellow or other beautiful colors. Your friend would definitely guess it's a leaf. That, that easily, you can do that. People are there to help. Just use your simple words and structures to communicate your ideas. You will get better the next time. And one last tip for you. Don't be afraid of speaking. Speak, make mistakes and get corrected because the next time you will not make the same mistake. Okay guys. This video was the answer to many of your questions when you just want to start learning English or you have a low level and you are trying to speak like a native speaker. Don't be afraid of making mistakes and speak the language. You'll make it. It's all a matter of time and practice. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can always visit our website to use our services if you are looking for a way to improve your English or to get a higher score in your IELTS exam. You can go to www.rossiels.com. Stay tuned and see you very soon.